Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in one of my templates someone asked me how I made the wood background. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. Start off with a square or rectangle color for your background. Um, it could be any color you want. Um, and then go ahead and grab your rectangle tool. And the first thing we're going to want to do is make a line per se. Um, don't make it too thick. You can play around with it. There's one there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it to the color I use for the darker areas. So there's my line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press Alt Shift and we're going to click that one and drag it down to make another line. Then I'm going to grab the two. I'm going to press Alt Shift and I'm going to click and drag again. And now we have four. And I'm going to keep doing this until I fill up my area. Remember it's Alt Shift. One more should do it. I have an extra one down here I'm just going to get rid of. So now I have my lines here. So as you can see it's getting close. That kind of looks like cardboard. Um, we're going to grab all those lines. Make sure you don't have your background selected. Um, what I do is I put my background on a different layer and lock it so you can't actually grab the background. Now we're going to go into Objects, Transform, Transform Each. And use these settings here, 102, 52, 0, minus 12, 0. And make sure you have Random checked. Hit OK. Now I'm going to unselect and you'll see what it's done is it's made all these lines different thicknesses and different widths apart. So it gives it a random look. Okay. So now we're going to select them again. And we're going to go ahead into our warp tool. So select this. And make sure you choose warp. And then double click it. You might want to try these settings. 150, 150, 0, 10%, 250. And hit OK. And now simply just take it and move your mouse around and warp these lines a bit. So you want it to look random, because it's wood, it's not perfect. Once you're happy with that, I'm going to deselect so you can see what it looks like. So, so far so good. And now we want to make some of these kind of things here, these dimples and stuff like that. So where your warp tool is, we're going to go with the, uh, let's start with the twirl tool. And I'm going to double click it. And I have intensity 10%. I think I'm going to go down to 5%. Um, so you can use these settings here. Let's see here. There you go. You just do some of these. Now, the longer you hold it, the more it does. So maybe some quick, some quick taps, just a, some quick, quick taps there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the pucker tool, and I'm going to double click it, so you can see what I have here. Click OK, and then I'm going to do some of that. And what that does is it brings some of the lines in together. And there you go. That's all you need to know to make a wood pattern vector uh, graphic uh, for your backgrounds or for your letters or whatever it is. Head on over to GS Helper and check out some more uh, tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.